Saturday was the deadline Prime Minister Ibrahim Mehlib set to declare the final formation of his cabinet. But until the final hours, changes have been made. Analysts say the man who ousted Morsi is the reason for the delay. Choosing the defense minister is the responsibility of both the president and the prime minister. But originally, it's the choice and will of the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. Until the last hours, no one knew who is the next defense minister, and they wanted it to be known only during the oath. Legally, Sisi's continuation as defense minister should not impact his presidential bid. Yet his decision to resign would have assured the public that he'll run. Twenty ministers continue their positions from the previous cabinet. Four of them are responsible for two different ministries each. Keeping these many ministers from Beblawi's government is Mehleb's decision. He kept all those who were cooperative with him in the government. But keeping the foreign ministers remains a big question to many. Mehleb has been responsible for many files more than his housing ministry. But it will be a big problem for Mehleb because the people will not be patient if there is no improvement from the first week. Immediately after the oath, the cabinet held a meeting with the interim president. It might be the shortest cabinet to take over Egypt, as it could be sacked once a new president is elected in three months. Many political powers have rejected the semi-new cabinet formation. The previous government was sacked for its poor performance, so keeping nearly two-thirds of its formation is making people skeptical of serious reform. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.